So now we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now I want to introduce our interim CEO, Robin Hines, uh, for her remarks. Helio. Good afternoon and thank you all for joining us today as we gather to mark Veterans Day. Uh, thank you especially to the Lawrence High Drill Team for making time to be with us today. We're gathered here today to recognize all veterans, um, including those veterans who stand shoulder to shoulder with us at Lawrence General Hospital. World War I officially ended when the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 1919 but fighting stopped seven months earlier when a temporary ceasefire between the Allied nations and Germany went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. As a result, November 11th, 1918 is generally regarded as the end of the war to end all wars. While the holiday was originally known as Armistice Day, it was changed to Veterans Day in 1954 to honor and celebrate all veterans in all wars. So please join me in extending deep gratitude to those members of our LGH family for their service and for making our hospital a great place to work. We appreciate you veterans and are very, very grateful for all that you do. Thank you. With that, I'd like to hand it off to Virgilio Velez, who he himself is a proud Marine for the next part of our program. Thank you, Virgilio. Thank you for your service. I'm shivering a little bit here. <laughs> um, so good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us today as we gather to commemorate Veterans Day. November 11th is actual this is the actual day we recognize this holiday, but we are doing it today to ensure that we allow maximum participation and awareness for our veterans. We're all gathered here today to recognize veterans, including those veterans who stand shoulder to shoulder uh, with us at Lawrence General Hospital. I want you to please join me in expressing the deep gratitude to our Lawrence General Hospital family members for their service and making this hospital a great place, like Robin mentioned. We appreciate you veterans and we are grateful for everything that you do. I want to play, uh, say a special thanks um, to the Lawrence High School drill team and their leader, Sergeant Bell. I would also like to thank our leadership, our health equity and quality committee, activities and education team, facilities, security, marketing, veterans and allies, ERG, our community members and Lawrence General Hospital employees for making this a very special day. With that, I'd like to give this platform to our very own Marine Corps veteran, Terry, Dolphin I, who is a proud Marine veteran and our keynote speaker today. Okay, inclusion. <laughs> okay. So, buenas tardes y gracias a todos por acompañarnos hoy mientras nos reunimos para conmemorar el Día de los Veteranos. El 11 de noviembre es el día para reconocer esta festividad pero estamos haciendo hoy para asegurarnos de permitir la máxima participación y conciencia. Todos estamos reunidos hoy para reconocer a todos los veteranos, incluidos los veteranos que están hombro a hombro con nosotros aquí en Lawrence General Hospital. Únase a mí para expresar una profunda gratitud a los miembros de nuestra familia de Lawrence General Hospital por su servicio y por hacer el hospital un excelente lugar para trabajar. Les apreciamos a ustedes veteranos y estamos agradecidos por todo lo que hacen. Quiero dar un agradecimiento especial a la cual a, a Lawrence High School, um, entre, el grupo de entrenamiento de Lawrence High School, el líder Sergeant Bell. También me gustaría agradecer a nuestros líderes, el Comité de Calidad y Equidad de Salud, y el equipo de actividades y educación. El, depart 
Departamento de Instalaciones de Seguridad, Marketing y los miembros de nuestra comunidad. Y los empleados de Lawrence General Hospital que van a hacer este día muy especial. Con eso me gustaría darle la plataforma a nuestro propio veterano de los Marines, Terry Duffney, quien es un orgulloso veterano de la Marina y nuestro orador principal de hoy. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody here to celebrate Veterans Day. But for my brothers and sisters from the Corps, today's our birthday. On November 10th, 1775, at Tun Tavern in Philadelphia, the Marine Corps was formed. And it's appropriate that we were formed in the park. <laughs> Every year, my family would gather. And when my children were little, they asked me two key questions about the Corps. The Marine Corps, the Marines, myself, were very proud that we were formed in the park. That's number one. And number two, no, I wasn't actually there. <laughs> My Marine Corps tour of duty started at Paris Island, a little island off the coast of South Carolina for Marine Corps training, where you're entrenched and immersed in a tradition of duty, honor, and esprit de corps. That, during your Marine Corps tour, is embedded in you deeply. It doesn't leave. But every Marine, every serviceman, has an expiration date, a date when they are to transition back to the civilian world. And that transition is not easy. It comes with a lot of mental stress that we need to recognize as a nation, as a community, and as a frontline hospital. This nation is in the middle of an epidemic of veteran suicide. The simple numbers are staggering. One year ago today, we honored the vet. Since we were last here, 5,840 vets have been taken by suicide. That's 16 vets per day. That's an unacceptable body count. And we need to step it up as a nation, a community, and as a hospital at the front lines, find our vets, recognize our vets. It's not in a vet DNA to ask for help, especially when it comes to mental health. We need to be the forefront of that action. I think our model should be leave no vet behind. and thank you so much for bringing that to our attention. As a hospital, we do have to care for our veterans and making sure that they're connected with the important services that they need when they come here. Um, with that said, now we're gonna turn it over to uh, doing the flag raising ceremony.
Thank you, everybody.